How's it going guys? Today we're at our favorite place, Costco of course. And uh, today we're gonna be talking about how you guys could potentially save some money with gas because gas prices are just going crazy right now. Some places are up to like almost $5 per gallon I believe. Over by me we're at like $3.80 right now. So it's cutting into our profits like significantly. So if you guys are here just for that part of the video, skip to this timestamp. But if you guys wanna follow along with this vlog, then stay tuned. Basically, we just got like a $42 order, but it was 20 miles going back to like where I live. So I don't know, it, the pays double the miles. So that's kind of all like that I, I need to keep making money, but it does stink a little because the gas prices are so high. 21 miles there and back, that's, that's a lot of gas. But yeah, I'm gonna go do this order. I'll see you guys whenever I have a cart full of stuff. All right. Super windy outside, but got the order done. No replacements, so the order shouldn't go down at all. I hate these things. They always break. Easy money. All right, that order was really easy. I think we shopped it in like 15, 20 minutes. The only bummer is the mileage, but it's $40, so I think we'll just go with it. It's been super nice lately, and um, today it got like kind of cold and windy, so I don't like it as much as the sun and 80 degrees. All right, 22 minutes. It's all highway though, so no stop and go, as long as there's no traffic. Then uh, the other drop off is really close, so we should get it all done, be back here probably within 40 minutes. That's my hope. Or no, that's unrealistic. Probably more like 50. So we just got a, a $16 HEB order and I was waiting in the parking lot getting my earbuds figured out. And uh, we got a $14 add-on, which puts this at basically a $30 order. And they're both really small. So we should be at like right around $80 after this. And um, we should get that done within three hours of work, which is a, a pretty good hourly rate. Yeah, I just had to do one replacement it's pretty easy. And the best part about it was on my way back, this was the store that I was already passing by. So I just pulled straight in and then it's also dropping off near Costco and I'm trying to head to Costco anyways. So works for me. All right. So we're back at Costco. Finally, it's about 1:30. So we've been working for about three and a half hours and we've made $80. Not the greatest, but not too bad. Anyways, let's talk about how you guys could save some money with gas right now, because I know gas is just getting like stupid expensive. And especially when you're driving as much as we are, gas starts to add up really fast. So I wrote down like three ways that I've been saving some money on gas. Obviously, this isn't gonna make you rich. You're still gonna be paying a good amount for gas, but you're gonna save a little bit of money. And uh, I'll show you proof here in a second. All right, well, there's a hint. Costco gas is a lot cheaper. And yes, you have to have a membership to get Costco gas, but we're gonna do the math and I'm gonna show you that it's worth it just for gas alone. If you guys don't have a Costco near you, then maybe try a Sam's Club because they have a very similar deal on gas. Basically, the Costco membership is $60. That is all you guys need to be able to shop at Costco and get their gas. Costco gas on average is around 20 cents cheaper than all the other gas stations around. So let's do some math. We're gonna pretend like we're Con Academy. So usually I use about three gallons of gas per day so let's just see how much it is per day. Right now at Costco, the gas is $3.50 per gallon. And when you multiply that by three, you're at $10.50 per day on gas. Now let's get the total for the entire year at this rate. And realistically, I hope it goes down before the end of this year. So times 365, we have $3,832.05. That's how much we're gonna spend per year on gas at this rate. Ugh, I just missed a batch for you guys recording this. All right, so now let's pretend like I went to Quick Trip and got the same gas, but 20 cents more. So $3.70 times three gallons, it's $11.10. So when we multiply that by 365, we're at $4,051.05. So if we subtract what we would have paid at Costco, we will save $219, but you have to subtract the membership so we're actually at a savings of around $159 for the year. Like I was saying, this isn't gonna make you rich, but it's gonna save you a little something. And you guys are gonna have a Costco membership now, so if you guys like to eat a lot of chicken or you guys just wanna buy stuff in bulk, you guys could save more money just by doing your grocery shopping at Costco. So that's like the biggest way that you guys could save money right now with the gas prices going up. But if you guys don't have a place like this nearby, you guys can just use GetUpside 
This isn't gonna save you as much money as Costco, but it can save you a good amount. Personally, I've saved like $10 so far on GetUpside, and I've probably have used it like 10 times. Sometimes you just get better deals on GetUpside on certain days, and uh, lately it just hasn't been that great, but it has saved me a little bit. And then uh, the last tip is just driving habits. If you guys are speeding and accelerating really hard all day long, you guys are gonna get crap gas mileage. Just keep in mind that it's not always worth rushing to the customer's house just to save like 30 seconds of time because you're gonna be spending a lot more gas when you have bad driving habits like that. If you guys are commuting a long distance on the highway, certain cars get better fuel economy at like 65 miles per hour versus 75. So that is just something to keep in mind. Maybe look up your car and see like what the best speed is for it to get the best fuel economy on those long drives. All right, so that is my advice for you guys. Hopefully it helped. If it did, make sure you guys slap that like button down below because it really helps me out. Anyways, it's time to sit here and uh, I'll probably do just like one more order with you guys and then I'll just do my own thing and then I'll get back with you at the end of the day and we'll see how much money we made. Anyways, it's time to sit here and uh, I'll probably do just like one more order with you guys and then I'll just do my own thing and then I'll get back with you at the end of the day and we'll see how much money we made get an hourly rate, all that stuff. All right, so I went into Costco to use their bathroom and I got a $36 order that was super easy to shop. Took me 10 minutes, it's only 10 miles. Well, I say only, but for the price, that's not bad. Usually that would be a lot. There it is, a ton of produce and a very loud car somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna pack this one up. Kind of annoyed because I had everything packaged really well. I had all the produce in a box and then whenever they took it all out, they did not put it back in the same way. They put my eggs on the top and they about fell and all broke and now I have to reorganize everything again. The only downside about this order is the wine. So I have to scan their ID and hope they're there. So what I started doing recently, I started like taking some extra bags every once in a while whenever I'm at like HEB or Target. I use them for like weird small orders like this that don't necessarily need like a box like those. And the bag just makes things look like a little like more neat, not like I just threw their items on the porch. And plus it, it'll be easier for them to carry in. And um, I wasn't gonna stick this in a bag, I'll just set it by it. But I think that looks better than keeping it all by itself. In reality, I should have just found a small box, but uh, they basically used both of my boxes for the big order instead of splitting it. I wasn't paying attention, so that's on me. But yeah, first drop off, 10 minutes, and then the other drop off is like probably another 10 minutes. So this one's actually pretty close and in a neighborhood, not an apartment. So yeah, after this batch, we should be at 116, if I can math correctly. Yeah, 116, which isn't bad. I was so excited when I went into Costco and I got this order. I was like tapping accept and nothing was happening. It was just loading because there's no service in there. And somehow it went through and I still got it. No idea how, because there's a ton of shoppers here right now. And I still got it, even with crappy service. All right, so the customer didn't have their ID. So I got to practice using a passport for the first time. If you guys have never used a passport, to a uh, scan for things like alcohol or RX orders. They're not too bad. It was a little weird at first because I didn't know like what it was trying to scan. But on the very bottom of like your passport picture, there's like a bunch of like numbers and text. And uh, eventually I pointed it at the passport long enough and it just figured it out. So yeah, if your customer ever doesn't have their ID, passports do work. Just make sure it's not expired. I don't know if it would scan if it was, but yeah. All right guys, so we made $156. My last order, we had to do a lot of refunds, unfortunately, which just sucked. That's what I get for not shopping at Costco. I was shopping at HEB and it was just bad. I sat outside the customer's house for about 25 minutes because they had a gate. And then um, support was just gonna cancel the batch. So I timestamped it and um, tried to call them several times. They gave me a faulty phone number. It just would fail every time. So I time stamped it. I got on the GPS and took a picture of where I was at so that they could see that I was at their house. It was time stamped and everything. But yeah, support would have canceled the batch, made me return it all, and I would have lost the $30 tip. And I drove 30 minutes to get to the store. So 
pretty annoyed right now. Basically, we worked a little over seven hours because I sat there for so long. So we averaged right around $22 an hour. So anyways, that is it for today. That last order really took it out of me and um, it just slowed me down, messed up my whole day. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully things go a bit better.